Chemistry 3 test. Cation test. Number one, to test for cations, you could use the flame test. And to carry this out, you've got to dip some, some wire into acid and you've got to hold it on a flame until the flame goes blue and you know, the, the normal blue. And then you've got to dip the wire into the chemical and back into the flame. And then you see the color. So if you see a bright red color, then you have lithium. But if you see um, a bricky red, more of like a boring red color, then you see calcium. And if you see lilac, which is very pretty, you see potassium. And remember, pretty, P, potassium, P. And if you see a green flame, then you've got barium. And if you see a golden, uh, strong yellow flame, then you've certainly got sodium. Then, the next test you could use to um, find out cations is the sodium hydroxide test. So you add a bit of sodium hydroxide to your chemical and you see what happens. So if you get a white precipitate which doesn't dissolve, then you have uh, <clears throat> and you have to add excess to see if it actually dissolves then you have calcium 2 plus ions or magnesium 2 plus ions but if the white precipitate dissolves and you add excess sodium hydroxide then you've got aluminium 3 plus ions and if you get a sludgy green um, kind of precipitate then you've got iron 2 plus ions and if you get a red brownie precipitate, then you've got iron 3 plus. Remember, iron 3 plus is like hemoglobin, um, so it's got red in it. Then, um, if you get like a bluey precipitate, then you've got copper 2 plus ions. So, those are the cation tests. However, there is the third one, so if you have ammonium, ammonium is also a cation, so if you have ammonium, then to test for that, you add some sodium hydroxide to the chemical, then you heat it gently, and you get like a stinky um, ammonia smell. It's very, you find out the smell when it comes, because it just like goes on your face. Um, then you hold some red litmus, onto it and if it turns the lead if it turns the red litmus sorry into blue then you have ammonia coming out which means that you've got an ammonium compound and that's the cations done next the anion test test for anions you could um, you have three tests and they're quite um, distinct so you'll be able to um, find out which one you want to talk about. So the easiest one is the carbonate one. So you add a bit of hydrochloric acid and if it fizzes you use a delivery tube to um, take the gas which um, comes out and you feed it into a test tube of lime water and if you guessed it, if it turns the lime water cloudy then you've got carbon dioxide and that means that you've got a carbonate compound next um, well however that's what you can do most of the time but if um, if for example if it's a substance which um, which you can't do that to then you can add some carbonate to it and heat it and if the substance turns green and then it goes to black and stays black then it's a copper carbonate if it turns white and then to yellow and back to white when it's cool, then it's zinc carbonate. So remember, if there are only two other ones, like you might have to know specifically. Otherwise, it's just normal carbonate one. Next test is for the sulfate ions. And these, you've got to add some dilute hydrochloric acid and some barium chloride solution. And if you get a white precipitate, simple as that, you've got a sulfate compound. Then next 
you've got the halide ions so you add some dilute nitric acid to the substance and some silver nitrate as well and then if you get a white precipitate you've got chloride if you get um, creamy precipitate you've got um, bromide and if you get a yellow precipitate you've got iodide and it's very hard to differentiate between them so you've got to hold them against pure white paper to see the difference then finally you've got the nitrates test remember all the ammonium has got nitrogen in it it's a cation and nitrates are actually anions um, so in this you first add some um, sodium hydroxide and you heat it gently and if you get um, like ammonium smell then you stop right there because you've got um, ammonium um, compound there okay but if you don't give it ammonia smell and if it doesn't turn a red litmus blue then you carry on and you add some aluminium powder and heat it gently again and now you should get um, an ammonia smell and that gas produced should turn red litmus to blue then you've got a nitrate compound so those are the main tests you need to know and part of this is just remember that organic compounds burn to give yellow, orangey, bluey flame and they char so they turn black and if you want to find out um, if your substance is if you know it's an organic substance but if you want to find if it's saturated or not remember the bromine water test so you add the bromine water and you wait and see if it decolorizes and becomes colorless then you've got yourself an un unsaturated substance because the unsaturated substance obviously bonds with the bromide ions and stuff uh, with the bromine here. Uh, but then um, if it doesn't turn then you've obviously got a saturated compound